Hey y'all, what's going on? It's me, Mr. Grisery. We have some, I have an inspired, 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 you know I love to read inspiring stories. So what the hell, I'm going to read you an inspiring story based on a really cute story. Inspired by a teen who died of cancer, University of Florida's softball team wins national title. When the, user, when the University of Florida softball team won the Women's College World Series on June 3rd, there was someone important missing, Heather Braswell. The 17-year-old the honoree teen member died 10 weeks earlier of complications from brain cancer, but some believe she was there in spirit. In the outfield before the first game of the series, a yellow butterfly landed right on me. Pitcher and first baseman Lauren Hager, 21, a junior from Pira, Arizona, tells people, I was like, oh my gosh, that was Heather. Heather's signature color was the yellowest gold of childhood cancer awareness, a cause she championed. Cam championed. So the players wore yellow hair ties throughout the season in yellow elbow guards and sunflowers in their ponytails for the championship game. Heather's initials were frazzled on their battling helmets. I know she was on the field with us. Old outfielder Bailey Castro Torn, a junior from Pembroke, Pins, Florida tells people it was what gave us a great run. Brezzo, first diagnosed with brain cancer in early 2008 at age 11, became an honorary Florida Gator in 2009. Thanks to the field of Gaiklin Foundation, which paired paramedic pediatric cancer patients with high school and college teams. Brasso fit in instantly, disturbing distributing Twizzlers into inspire rallies and handling out Team Heather bracelet. She even got her own locker in the Gators clubhouse. She was basically a shy person, but we'd get to the field so she'd was a run down the steps, hop the fence, and got into the dug out with them right now away. So the mother Terry forty eight, a nurse from Apoca, Florida. Heather was cancer free for more than five years, but in June twenty thirteen doctors at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee found a reoccurrence of her brain tumor during a routine checkup. With the, the team's support, including text messages and gifts from players and coaches each time she was in the hospital. Heather fought hard, but by January her cause was determinal. Still, she found the strength to throw out the first pitch at the season's home opening on February 19th. She was pretty sick at that point, says the team's catcher, sophomore Aubrey Monroe, 20 of Bree. Bria, California, but she was so happy to be on the field and have that moment and feel that support. Our whole team just embraced her. She died five weeks later, and after that, says Hager, we were playing for something bigger than ourselves. Last week, with Heather's mom in attendance and her rarely Twizzlers in the dugout, the team clinched its first ever national title. Heather, would you have ex Heather would you would have been excited beyond words? Terry says. At the prep rally back on the UF, a campus the next day, Heather's initials were itched on the field, and the team handled out Swizzlers in her honor. When Heather first came here, it was definitely so she could look at, up, at, up to us, Cashel says, but in the past year and a half, she became our role model. She changed our lives. This was really a cute, 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 cute story. I think that they did an amazing job. I think that they did a cute job by putting her initials in there. I mean... She sounds like a fighter to me. People who have cancer are fighters in my in my words. I mean they really are. They fight for their lives, they fight for their you know, they fight for their life. So I give them props for that. Thanks guys. Enjoy this inspired thing.